Admiral McLogan, a military medic in the Vietnam War, would have given up on his fellow soldiers. But he was determined to stay and save as many lives as he possibly could. His father's words from his childhood inspired him. I quote, Son, if you are given a job to do, never do it halfway. Do it to the best of your ability and carry it out to the end. Today I am making this lesson to equip you, the student of agriculture, to be able to do your exam and pass and also use this knowledge in your life. My name is Mr. Oitito, a teacher of agriculture at Rungiri Secondary. I'll be taking through a Form 3 agriculture topic, farm structures, subtopic, types of fences. And in this particular lesson, we shall discuss life fences. What are the objectives of this lesson? By the end of the lesson, you should be able to, number one, Explain the meaning of the term fence. Number two, state the uses of fences on the farm. Number three, identify the types of live fences. Number four, state the advantages of live fences. And number five, state the disadvantages of live fences. What is the meaning of the term fences? Allow me to start by answering that question. We define fences as structures that enclose designated areas and form physical barriers for animals and humans. They are useful in various ways. Number one, perimeter fences demarcate the farmland from the neighbor's land, reducing disputes. Number two, live fences act as windbreaks, reducing soil erosion by holding soil particles. Number three, fences keep off wild animals and intruders from the farm. Number four, Fences enable the control of diseases by restricting movement of livestock and keeping of stray animals. Number five, fences enable the farmer to control breeding by rearing different animals in different paddocks. There are two categories of fences, namely live fences and dead fences. What are live fences? Live fences are fences that are made of growing plants. The plants are trained to grow in the desired size and shape. Dead fences, on the other hand, are fences that are made of non-living materials, for example, wires, posts, stones, etc. Q is a live fence, while R is a dead fence. We've already mentioned that live fences are fences that are made of growing plants, for example, K apple, cypress, bougainvillea, Mauritius thorn, lantana, etc. They are normally used when marking boundaries. The advantages of live fences are Number one, they are cheap and easy to establish. Number two, their roots hold soil particles preventing soil erosion. Number three, some species add aesthetic value to the farm, for example, cypress, bougainvillea, etc. Number four, tall varieties act as windbreaks, for example, K apple. Number five, some when trimmed can be used as livestock feed, for example, lantana. Let us look at some of the disadvantages of live fences. Number one, those species can cause injury to human and livestock. For example, K apple, cactus, Mauritius thorn, sisal, and bougainvillea. Number two, the hedges can be hiding places for rodents and thieves when neglected and left to overgrow. Number three, they require regular trimming and infilling of gaps, which is expensive and require a lot of labor. Number four, Irregular growth allows gaps for thieves and animals to pass through. Number five, they cannot be used for paddocking as they use up a lot of space. And number six, they take many years to establish and be effective. Allow me to take you through some examples of live fences. Fence A is Kai Apo. It has a number of advantages. Their roots hold soil particles together. They can grow tall, acting as windbreakers and it adds aesthetic value when it is well trimmed. The disadvantages of K Apo include, number one, uses a large area that's not good for paddocking. Number two, it is thorny that causes injury to human and livestock. Number three, it is expensive to maintain as it requires regular trimming. And number four, it can be hiding place for rodents and thugs if it is left to overgrow. The next fence, which is not very common, is cypress which has a number of advantages. One, the roots hold soil particles together. 
B. They can grow tall acting as windbreakers. It has disadvantages, but you're going to mention three of them. One, it uses a large area that's not good for paddocking. B. It is expensive to maintain as it requires regular trimming. And C. It can be hiding place for rodents and thugs if it is left to overgrow. Fancy is known as Mauritius thorn. It has a number of advantages. Number one, the roots hold soil particles together. Number two, they can grow tall, acting as windbreakers. Number three, it is cheap and easy to establish. And number four, it is effective in keeping away intruders. Some of the disadvantages include it is thorny, that causes injury to human and livestock. Two, it is expensive to maintain as it requires regular trimming. Three, Growth may be irregular, allowing gaps for thieves and animals. And four, they take many years to grow and establish. Fence D is Bougainvillea. Bougainvillea is a very good fence. The roots hold soil particles together, preventing soil erosion. They can grow tall, acting as windbreakers. It is cheap and easy to establish. It is effective in keeping away intruders and, most importantly, it adds aesthetic value to the farm. Some of the disadvantages of Bougainvillea include it is a thorny fence that causes injury to human and livestock. Two, it is expensive to maintain as it requires regular trimming. Three, the growth may be irregular, allowing gaps for animals and thieves. The next fence E is a croton. Croton has a number of advantages. One, the roots hold soil particles together. Two, they can grow tall acting as windbreakers. Three, it is cheap and easy to establish. And four, it provides shade to livestock. The disadvantages include that it cannot be used for paddocking as it occupies a wide space. B, growth may be irregular, allowing gaps for animals and thieves. Three, it takes many years to grow and establish. Four, it may act as hiding place for rodents and thieves. The next fence F is lantana. Lantana has roots which hold soil particles together. The advantages of lantana include, one, the roots hold soil particles together. Two, it is cheap and easy to establish. Three, it is effective in keeping away intruders. And four, the trimmed leaves can be used as fodder for livestock. Some of the disadvantages of lantana include, one, it is a thorny species that causes injury to human and livestock. Two, it is expensive to maintain as it requires regular trimming. Three, growth may be irregular, allowing gaps for animals and thieves. And four, it takes many years to grow and establish. Fence G is Saiso. Saiso has a number of advantages. One, the roots hold soil particles together. Two, it is cheap and easy to establish. Three, it is effective in keeping away of intruders. However, it has a number of disadvantages. Disadvantage number one, it is thorny that causes injury to human and livestock. Two, it is expensive to maintain as it requires regular trimming. Three, growth may be irregular, allowing gaps for animals and thieves. And four, it takes many years to grow and establish. Fence H is euphobia, very suitable for those areas which are dry. Advantages of euphobia is one, the roots hold soil, soil particles together, preventing soil erosion. Number two, it can grow tall, acting as windbreak. Three, it is cheap and easy to establish. And last three, it provides shade to livestock. Some of the disadvantages include growth may be irregular, allowing gaps for animals and thieves. Number two, it takes many years to grow and establish. Number three, may act as hiding place for rodents and thieves. Fence J is Duranta. It has a number of advantages. The roots hold soil particles together, preventing soil erosion. It can grow tall, acting as windbreak. It is cheap and easy to establish, and it adds aesthetic value to the farm. Some of the disadvantages, one, it cannot be used as hedge for paddocks as it occupies a wide space when poorly maintained. And two, it may act as hiding place for rodents and thieves. The fences displayed E, F, G, H, I, and J are types of fences that show some of the advantages and disadvantages of fly fences. I would like you to study the photographs E, F, G, H, I, and J and answer the following questions. 
A. State the advantages of life fences that you can observe from fence G, I, and J. B. Study fence E, F, and H and state four disadvantages of life fences that you can observe. And C. Outline four management practices that can be carried out on fence F and fence G. I would advise that you go back and do more work and study from the references I have given. I hope that you have learned. If you like this video, click on the like icon, touch the notification bell and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.